Hi guys, this is Maliki from the Doc One uh, First Year team, and today I'm going to show you how to make sure your plans are ready to be used to generate your window and door schedules. Now, when you open up ArchiCAD, quite often, if you look under Quick Options, the model you lay out will be 04 plans, no markers. You want to make sure this is changed to number three and you'll see then that we've got markers that appear uh, beside the relevant elements, windows and doors. Okay, now this should be done and also you should check as well that your layer combination is appropriate to the drawing and also you really should be working in the view map at all times or 99% of the times. So make sure you're in the view map and the correct drawing, correct layer combination. This is a project that has been worked on previously by a colleague. He's got the layer combinations plan presentation furniture, but yours may well be a plan floor. Just make sure it's appropriate. Now at the moment, uh, I'm looking in here and we've got our markers. Let's just check the sizes of them. and We'll give you some recommendations of what they should be. So what I'm going to do first is actually check that all my windows have been drawn the correct way. So I'm going to shift click on this and I can see that window name cat image window comes out and that's what the way I want it to be. All the external windows and doors should be drawn using the cat image window tool except the garage. So if you go down to the garage one and once we try and select that you'll see it's actually a cat image garage door. So that's the exception to the rule. Okay. Now what I want to do now is go to the window tool. I'm going to select all windows and I'm going to hit Control T and just check the settings. So one of the first things I'm going to do is go to the dimension marker and just check things like the size of the font, which here is 2 millimeters, the overall size of my marker, which in this case is 10, and we're going to check the position as well. In this dialog, just also make sure that the window marker 16 is selected. Okay. We'll then go to the marker settings. If you check the marker geometry, you can see that the marker position is set to 8 millimeters, and uh, that's what we want it to be. We don't want to have any sills or extension lines turned on, so hopefully that makes things nice and clear. Okay, just let ArchiCAD regenerate all this stuff, and once it's done, you can click anywhere, deselect. Another thing that I'm going to show you just before we finish this short video is how to make these references more representative of external joinery. So for instance uh, we've got W005. I may want to make these read as EJ01. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the windows again. I'm going to go on to I think it's documents, schedules and lists and go to element ID manager. Then what we do is make sure we go to Window ID, then tick ID Format. Now in here we want to just change the number of characters in the first one to 2 and leave it as text. The second one we want to make 2 and change it to Counter and then these last two boxes are not used. Then what we type in here is EJ to represent external joinery and then perhaps in here we'll type 01 and then I should click, you should click change IDs we'll get a little bit of a preview and it shows me I've got up to EJ16 and that's a figure you should remember because the first floor windows may want to be changed and they're going to start off from EJ17 so I'll click OK and you can see that in the background ArchiCAD is changing my element uh, references to match what I asked it to do. Now I'll quickly go up to the first floor. Uh, I'll pick the right plan. Uh, again you can see that the first floor drawing needs to have the model view changed. So this is just a reminder about that. The windows need to get their settings changed. So I'm going to go in here again. And the marker position is incorrect here so I'm going to make that 8. So if yours you can, you can check through this. Take off the extension line uh, going to go to the dimension marker 2, 10, that looks okay 
Uh, I can check the marker options under here as well, make sure uh, things are not on. So we can turn off the ID. I'll leave that on actually. Sizes, take that off. And then there's a few other things down here. Show cell value. If that's on in yours, turn it off. Then we'll click OK. And hopefully ArchCAD will make those changes. And it has done. Now with those windows selected, I'm going to show you again just to help reinforce schedules and lists, element ID manager. Change it up here to window. Go to ID format. Change this to 2. Change this to 2. Uh, change this third box to not used. Change the fourth box to not used. Change box number 2 to counter. And don't forget that downstairs we had 16. You may have more, depending on your design. I have got 16, so I'm going to start the first floor on 17. Change the IDs. You get a preview of how far up we're going. Click OK. And hopefully ArchiCAD will make the changes. And that's it. Hopefully that's been of use. Uh, good luck.